So I think we'll stop it there, and if you have any questions, I'll be glad to take them. Governor, you propose yep. a five-year extension of the uh, soon-to-expire taxes. Uh, and if the money, at, at the end of that thing, the state would, would go ahead and give the locals an equal amount of money when those taxes expire, what makes you think the state's going to have that 7 or $8 billion to give them? Well, we're confident that our great economy is going to come bouncing back. It's just coming slowly, and we think five years is a reasonable expectation. If the state doesn't have the money, do those, do those trans programs come back to the state? No, we'll leave them where they are, and we'll just have to um, make do with what we have. And I'm hopeful we will have enough money or we'll confront the problem at the time. But that's five years from now, and I think we have a lot of time to worry about all the things in between. Governor? What? Voters do not look favorably on extending those taxes. Well, you can just look through those different slides and multiply by two and, and then decide. It's pretty. So I'm hopeful that they'll want to do this. From what I've seen, uh, I think there's a reasonable prospect. Now, people may say, well, the cuts aren't enough. And if uh, some members of the Assembly or Senate have some ideas, I'd, I'd like to hear them. This is the best that I can figure out. Uh, if if it's not enough, then uh, let's hear about it. But I would say we've made some drastic cuts, and to do more is going to impair uh, the quality uh, of our of our public service. How do you yeah. Get the extensions on yeah. The ballot? Pardon me. How do you get the extensions on By getting the legislature to put them on. 